Today I'm reviewing the I Want It All bundle from AE Juice. So AE Juice is a team of motion designers and software engineers that create really cool stuff and you can buy it all. The bundle obviously has a ton of assets uh, which I'm not going to be able to cover all of them in this tutorial so I urge you to follow the affiliate link in the description and check it out for yourself. But it includes liquid elements, liquid transitions, shape elements, vintage slides, text animation presets, 2D and 3D animation presets, flat icons, whiteboard elements, a transitions pack. All right, enough talk. I'm going to jump into a quick little fun project where I'm going to use AE Juice. So in this tutorial, I want to create a fun little animation where I have an airplane flying through a night sky scene. So I've taken my son's toy airplane, shot it on a green screen, and I've removed the background. Now I have it flying with this moon graphic in the background. I mean, while it looks incredibly realistic, I want to be able to spice it up with some elements from AE Juice. Let's take a look at what we can do. All right, so I'm inside of my After Effects project. The first thing I want to do is open up my AE Juice panel. So to do that, I'm going to go to Window and select AE Juice Pack Manager and that'll launch the panel. Now, this is where I can view all of my assets. I can apply the assets to my project and I can customize the animations and the look of those assets from here. So this is showing me everything I have from the I Want It All bundle and down at the bottom here, you'll also notice there's a free section. Okay, now I'm gonna go back up and select one of these packs. I'm gonna grab Liquid Elements. That's gonna launch it in a new tab and let's have a closer look at this. I'm gonna full screen this. Okay, now this is a really cool panel, the way it's set up here, very intuitive. On the left, I have all of the categories of assets of the pack, and on the right, I have the preview section. So you can see the categories here as well, and then each individual asset, and I can click on them. Now, all the animations are previewing at once. If that's a little too busy for my taste, I can pause it down here, and then as I move my cursor over, each one will animate individually. So you might like that setup a little bit better, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the auto animations on. I can search these assets by keyword because there are you know, a large number of assets. I can add assets to a favorite section to help keep things organized. Now before I apply it, I can choose the style of the assets down here. I can select the main color that will be applied and I can also select the specific look if I want it to have kind of a glow, uh, drop shadows. There's a bunch of different options here. So let's say the first thing I want to do here is I want to add some really cool flame shooting out of my engine. Not because there's a problem with the engine, just because it's gonna make this look super cool and perhaps even more realistic. So let's see what we have over here in our elements. I have some fire elements down here. If I just click on some of these, um, some fire flames. And once again, these are so cool. These are uh, hand-drawn animated uh, frame by frame animations. Actually, I have some loops here. This is gonna be better for what I'm looking for. So this one's actually gonna be perfect. So I don't want my flames to be blue. I actually like the color of this flame. So I'm just gonna grab the eyedropper tool and click over that, select okay. And then I don't want that style either. I want this to glow like a proper flame. So I'm gonna select that, hit okay. And now I can go ahead and select it again and hit this import button here. Now for this particular element to work with my airplane, I need to actually attach it to the airplane so it moves along with it. So for that, I'm gonna do some basic tracking. So I'm gonna grab my airplane, I'm gonna to go to window and select tracker, and then I'm gonna do track motion. And let's zoom in here. And I'm just gonna bring this over the engine here and just do something down and dirty and quick. Now I'm just gonna select edit target and make sure that my fire loop is selected because that's where I want all my tracking data to be applied. And I'm gonna go ahead and track this forward. Okay, it looks like that track was okay. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that, hit okay. Now my flame should be following along. I just need to reposition it. So I'm gonna grab the fire loop and I'm gonna hit S for scale and then I'm gonna hold shift and hit R for rotation and then A for anchor point. I can't move the position because that's where all the keyframes were applied. So now I'm gonna scale this down. We're gonna scale this down pretty significantly. Let's take it to like 12. I'm gonna rotate this. Actually, I need to scale this back up. I want a big flame. And now I'm just gonna position it with my anchor point. Now let's have a look-see at what we got going here. All right, I'm gonna close the tracker panel. Let's see what else I can add to my project. Let's say we wanna add some stars. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna type in stars and that's gonna filter this out. A Couple of shooting stars here, so let's grab this one. And we don't want it to be yellow, let's make it white. And I'm happy with the glow effect, that's fine. And I'm gonna select import. 
I'm going to zoom out here. Now let's just position this, scale it down, way down. I'm going to put it in the background, maybe rotate it a little bit. And then turn the opacity maybe down just a tad. We'll stick that right over there. And actually, I'll have this move with the moon. So I'm going to go ahead and parent that to the moon layer. And then I'm going to put it down with the moon there. OK, very cool. Now I got that shooting star in there. OK, now I want to add something just a little more complex. So I'm going to go to the bird section. Let's say we want a flock of birds kind of cruising through. So I'm going to grab this bird here. And I think white will be fine. I don't want it to glow. So let's select a different one. Let's go back to this first one here. I'll select OK. Now let's go ahead and import one of these and bring it to the front. Let's say we want a whole flock of birds kind of cruising through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this bird loop and I'm going to duplicate it, maybe create five. And then I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go to right click pre-compose. I'm going to call this bird flock. Now I'm going to navigate down to this layer here. Let's take a look at what we got going on. First, I'm going to scale these down. And I'm just going to create some variety really quick. Some are going to be larger than others. Just make sure none of them are the exact same size. Now I'm going to grab the position of some of them, move them around. So now the main problem I have here is that all these birds are kind of flapping their wings at the same time. So I need to do something to kind of break that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these layers here. And down here at the bottom of my panel, I have the AE Juice plugin. So I'm going to click on this. And there's one called the Shifter. You can also find this by going to Window. And the Shifter is right here. So I'm going to open up this panel. Now I have three different things I can do. I can Shift, I can Align, and I can Stagger. This is one of those tools that you might be using on every single project. This is a really, really cool plugin. So what I want to do is stagger these layers. So I want to stagger them by, let's say, maybe 12 frames. And I need to actually grab them. I'm going to go ahead and stagger them. And now I'll drag these over so they're all on frame. OK, now while I have the variations here, they're still going at the same speed. So, so I can tweak the stretch values of each, You know, just adding a little bit here and there so that none of them are really going the same speed. And now I have a proper flock of birds. And I'm going to grab the, the pre-comp here of my birds. Let's position these. I'm going to bring them behind the airplane. And we'll drag them down, scale them down just a bit. Maybe even bring the opacity down. Once again, this is like a realistic scene. And for the bird flock, I can also parent that to the moon, but I don't want it to follow it exactly, because that would look a little weird. So let's just have it. I'm just going to keyframe this so that it kind of goes at a slightly different speed, and maybe even moves up a little. Let's take a look at our final shot. All right, I have my cool animation rocking here. Now I want to have an end title for it. So I'm going to create a new comp here, call it end title. And I'm going to quickly add a solid layer, maybe have like a blue background or something. Lock that off. Now I'm going to add some text. And let's just type out Bon Voyage. And then we can align this. Now, obviously this looks pretty awful, so I need to, you know, I want to have like a little animation in and I want to change the look of it. So I'm going to click on this text layer and right down here in my AE Juice tools, the plugins, I can look at font previewer. And this is going to give me live previews of all the different fonts. I can simply type in what I want to change it here. Now I have a quick live preview. I can even change the size here if I want. I'm going to scroll down and see if something jumps out. OK, I like this one. I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to click Apply. And now automatically change it to that. It's a really, really quick way to apply that. Very, very cool. I really love these AE Juice plugins. These extra plugins are very cool. Now I want to animate it. So I have this text presets pack. I'm going to click on this. And now it's showing me three different categories. We have characters, lines, and words. Now there is just a whole lot going on with these. These are insanely powerful. So let me show you what, what's going on here. So here I have one of the animation or text animation presets. And down here is where all the power really resides. So here I can have it 
have it uh, set to expressions and marker modes so that when I apply the animation, it's gonna apply markers on here that I can control. So I could quickly control the amount or the time of the animation in and animation out, quickly retiming it. Over here, I have different ease modes. And if I alt click on this symbol, you can see there's even further presets here, how I want my animation curve to go. I can select one. And that's for all of these different ones. They have four presets each. And then there's even a bounce mode with different uh, kind of amplitudes. Really, really cool. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna switch it. Let's uh, toggle the expressions and markers mode. Now I'm gonna grab this one here and I could just click on animate. I can also do this. I can drag it directly over and this is really the insane part. You see these arrows? So as I hold it over, and I drag it, I can specifically tell it how I want it to animate in, like what direction. If I want it to animate in from the left here or the top left corner, let's say we want it to animate in this direction. Now I can just drop this. We can see the markers have been applied to the layer. And if I scroll here, it's animating in from the top left. Man, that is cool. And it animates out from the top left. So you can also specify when you toggle over here, if I just want to do the animation in, when I grab it, I just select this in here. So if I go over and do the opposite with the out, so just the out is selected, let's say I want it to go out in the opposite direction. Now I'm just gonna simply drag it over here and it'll reapply it. So our animation in is still intact and now our animation out has been reapplied. So that is insane. It's like simply drag and drop. Wow, that's very, very cool, very, very powerful. And I can try out different ones by simply dragging and dropping them over again, and it'll reapply it. Um, so it's very, very, very cool. So I have my end title now. I'm gonna turn on motion blur. Now I can close this comp, and I wanna bring it in here now, but we don't wanna do kind of a straight cut. So what can I do here? I'm gonna drag this to where the animation kind of ends around the four second marker. And now I wanna add a transition. So I'm gonna hit the new tab. Over here I have liquid transitions. I'm gonna click on this. And now it's showing me 40 basic transitions and 100 complex transitions. So why don't we just go ahead and grab one of these. I'm gonna grab this one here. And I'm gonna click on import. So now it's applied basic transition 06. Now to actually apply this, I'm gonna drag it and line it up with my end title graphic here. And all I need to do now is grab the title, put it below the transition, and then switch this to alpha track mat. And now this transition should look good. But I need to retime the animation in of my title. So I'm gonna open up that comp and wherever the playhead is at here, let's just back this up. And now this should be looking a little bit better. As one final touch, I could go in here and go grab a sound effect. Here we have, wow, there's just so many different categories and I have the live preview. So let's go down here and maybe add a whoosh. This one's fine, I'm gonna import that. And now I'll just drop that kind of loosely over where the transition is taking place. Now let's have a look. All right, there you have it. There's a little peek into the I Want It All bundle from AE Juice. Once again, if you want to take a look at this product, follow my affiliate link in the video description. And if you liked the tutorial, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week.